social media marketing for law firms. What pulls in the best cases, Facebook or LinkedIn? This is a very common question. These are two emerging platforms that attorneys are now becoming more aware of as a potential source for new cases and new clients. This is really important because attorneys wanna make sure they don't waste their time for their practice area on the wrong platform. So what I'm gonna be breaking down first before I go into LinkedIn and Facebook uh, individually is what's called the entertainment curve. So there's a curve, visualize it like this, um, where LinkedIn would be down here, meaning a low need for entertainment. Facebook would be a slightly higher need for entertainment, and Instagram would be the highest need for entertainment, right? So there's an entertainment curve with these three platforms. Now, of course, Facebook owns Instagram, so that's why I'm bucketing them together. So how to know what's gonna have the best return for you is an important thing to think through. So for LinkedIn, I want you to think, if you're more of a, uh, if your law firm's targeting higher end clients, higher net worth, or your B2B, and if you are targeting a traditional network, a grassroots networking approach where you're manually adding people that you meet at networking events on LinkedIn, just know LinkedIn is gonna have a tremendously better organic reach. Meaning, let's say you have a thousand connections on LinkedIn. If you send a post on LinkedIn, not paying a penny for that post, an organic free post on your LinkedIn page as a lawyer, you're gonna get way higher percentage of your audience seeing that post than on Facebook. Facebook only has like a 1% reach now, especially with business pages. So if you're posting valuable content on your uh, law firm's business page on Facebook, just know, even if you have a thousand people that like your page, um, your law firm's page, business page on Facebook, only about 1% of people are gonna actually even see that, let alone click on it. So 1,000 people like your page, probably 10 people are gonna see that. So it's not really worth your time to do organic content on Facebook. So, so LinkedIn, if you're more in a grassroots networking environment with your practice areas, if you're targeting a higher end client or you're targeting B2B, just know that LinkedIn will work good for you. Now, in addition to that, uh, Facebook, you can also target high-end clients on Facebook, but Facebook is more designed for a cold advertising strategy. Facebook now is pay to play. If only 1% of your posts are gonna be seen by people for free, then you need to pay for ads to get in front of people on Facebook. But you also wanna be aware that your content needs to be a little bit more entertaining on Facebook, right? So you can provide you know, to the point, valuable content with no entertainment value at all on LinkedIn and it'll get consumed because it's more of a professional platform. But on Facebook, you need to get people's attention. Just know on Facebook, it's more of an interruption ad. So if you're gonna provide a valuable blog post on, you know, how to avoid felony, you know, charges or how to avoid getting locked up for felony charges or whatever, you're gonna have to have a visual ad, like, a, like an image or a video that actually gives people a reason to feel engaged enough to click on that ad to then consume the information because keep in mind, again, you're gonna be in front of a much higher percentage of cold potential clients that have never heard of your law firm before. So you have to get them to uh, engage with your posted content and you're gonna be paying to play. So you also need a budget if you're gonna be marketing on Facebook to pull in cases. Um, so just know, what gets clicks on Facebook is typically more entertainment based than what gets clicks on LinkedIn, which is more value based. What we say on Facebook, the best content that works is called edutainment or valuetainment, right? So where you're providing value, but you're also being a little entertaining to get engagement from people who have never heard of you before. So you can target a lower end market much easier on Facebook. Um, because that's where everybody spends their time. Whereas LinkedIn is usually more so time spent there is by professionals, right? So um, just keep that in mind. Keep in mind the entertainment gap. Think to yourself, um, you know, what market am I targeting? And then think through all the things I just talked about with LinkedIn and Facebook and, and think about what's right for you. Just know 
lower end Facebook, um, you know, cold audience Facebook, but grassroots high end would be LinkedIn, okay? And then Instagram is like all entertainment. So, you know, one thing that's worked well for, for lawyers on Instagram, like, um, for example, would be auto accident lawyers who use like car crash videos to get high engagement on posts on Instagram. That actually works. That, that can pull in like 20 cases a month. Uh, I've seen it work. Um, but it's like almost all entertainment based. So think about your marketing strategy, where you're at on the entertainment curve, what target market you go after, and that'll help you understand where to invest the majority of your time on either LinkedIn or Facebook and Instagram. So I hope this was helpful. Think through all the concepts, think through all the concept, concepts that I just said, and think what's best for you. If you thought this video was helpful, then leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to our channel for more valuable content like this to help your law firm grow, and you have a great day.